Okay, so here's the latest update on the Messi Maya versus Beyonce lawsuit. Now, of course, Messi Maya was unfortunately killed years ago, but here's an update on the story thanks to the great people at the jasminebrand.com. They posted an exclusive, and the reason why they have these exclusives is because the Jazza Brand is a real news blog, unlike Meat Magazine, who's just a Beyonce fan with a microphone. And when I say a Beyonce fan, I mean, as soon as I'm done with this video, the lotion is about to be bust out. I mean, can you blame me? So here's what the Jazz Brand wrote. Exclusive. Beyonce responds to Messi Maya's $20 million lawsuit over formation. The JasmineBrand.com exclusively reports Beyonce is firing back at the $20 million lawsuit accusing her of ripping off a murdered artist with the megastar demanding the case be thrown out of court saying she did nothing wrong. First of all, Beyonce is a very beautiful woman. I'm team pretty girl. Beyonce, of course, you can do no wrong in my world. Here's the latest. On April 14th, Beyonce's legal team headed to the court demanding the suit be dismissed immediately. She explains that the estate grossly overstated the use of Anthony Barr's or Barry's or how you pronounce his name because I can't pronounce names to save my life, aka Messi Maya. So much easier to pronounce. AKA Messi Maya YouTube video. Beyonce claims she's she only used 10 seconds of audio from two of his videos in her formation music video further she says her team even contacted the estate and obtained the license only to be hit with the lawsuit after her video premiered the singer is demanding the entire 20 million dollar suit be tossed saying even if her team didn't obtain a license the use of 10 seconds of audio from YouTube videos is protected by the fair use doctrine you hear that Fair use, mudge of fudge. <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, I'm very careful about what I do up on here. You know, you see what I you see why I don't be posting music and stuff, people. Do you see why now? Because even though it may be considered to be fair use, people will still try to mess with you. And then it just it's a waste of time. To have, some people just don't understand these laws that are in place, these digital laws, copyright laws, and different things like that. So it's like we have to be careful of how we do things. We have to be careful of how we operate. OK. Because even if it is fear use, they can still, you know, try to come for you, even though it won't work, especially somebody like Beyonce. But anyways, back to the article. Here's the backstory. Earlier this year, the pop star was sued by the estate of Anthony Berry, a.k.a. Messi Maya, accusing her of illegally sampling his work in the song Formation without permission. The state claimed Beyonce used a minor but memorable sample from Messi Maya's 2010 video, a 27 piece, huh? They accused her of using the short sample throughout her track in which he says, I like that. Beery or Bere or whatever his name was, was a huge YouTube star prior to him being killed in 2010. The estate said they contacted the singer and her team to work out the issues, but they were blown off. The estate sued for $20 million for royalties and other damages. Watch Beyonce's formation video below. And of course, they posted the video right there on their awesome website. Let me see. Well, how many video views has formation got so far? A little over 40 million. Hmm. And the video was posted to Vivo, Beyonce's Vivo channel back in December of 2016. So we're talking a little over four months. And only got 40 million views. That's pretty low for Beyonce. I mean, come on now. Hold Up got... 92 million that's interesting very weird 7-eleven got over 415 million sorry got over 200 million but then again formation was not exactly beyond beyonce's greatest work then again 7-eleven was 7-eleven was annoying and yeah, formation wasn't good either see i missed the old beyonce baby boy beyonce and what's some other beyonce joints that were real dope let me see uh, what is what is this the one produced by by Swiss Beats. Check up on it, I think it's called. Yeah, that, that one was dope. And Beyonce has some dope songs. I mean, we're talking like the first album Beyonce around that time. Man, she has some great music. I Man, what is wrong with her? It's like she really changed with the times in the worst way. Trying to do what's trendy, trying to get into like some R and B trap music type stuff. And it's like that crap doesn't work. You know, trap music is absolutely terrible. That music, if you want to call it music, is an abortion to my ears. And I don't understand how anybody could just sit up there and act as if 
that music is okay to listen to. It's 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 poison. I can't stand trap music in formation. It's like a trap R and B record, so can't get with that. <clears throat> but anyways, this, that's all my opinion. You know, what do I know? I'm merely a Beyonce fan with a microphone. I love Beyonce. That's why I can critique her like this. Because, you know, even though Beyonce, listen, listen to me closely. Because I am in the Illuminati. Beyonce is going to hear this video. She's going to watch this video. Okay? Because all the megastars like Beyonce know who I am. Because of my, my ranking in the Illuminati. I'm very high up there. And, you know, I just want to say hi to Beyonce, hi to Jay-Z, hi to Blue Ivy. I know you guys will be listening to this together because I am the God. And I just want to say this, Beyonce, with you being a goddess and everything, being, you know, La Costa Nostra, this thing of ours, you know, with us being Illuminati. I know you deny it because, you know, for safety reasons, stuff like that. But, okay, we'll just pretend Beyonce's not in the Illuminati with me. My fellow Illuminated sister, <clears throat> Beyonce. Awesome sauce. You didn't do anything wrong. I mean, you're team, I'm, I'm team pretty girl and you're one of the most beautiful women ever. So, you know, of course, I'm on your side automatically, but I'm talking about legally as well. Legally as well, you are in the right about this. Okay, Miss Oshun, I mean, Beyonce. But anyways, shout out to the beautiful Beyonce. R.I.P. to Mr. Messi Maya. It's a shame that he went out the way that he did. I still don't know the full backstory, but I remember hearing about it years ago. And I was like, really? Wow. Jesus Christ. But yeah, man, you know, condolences to his family. I understand that you guys are hurting. I'm sure you're pre pre pretty sure you're still grieving seven years later. I mean, this is the unfortunate events that took place are not things that are <laughs> ever forgotten. And I hope you didn't forgive who did it either. But anyways, shout out to Messi Maya's estate. You know, I hope that you guys get paper some other sort of way. But you're not going to touch Beyonce's paper unless you get a poster. But anyways, this is all my opinion. What do I know? I'm a Beyonce lover with a microphone. Let me know what y'all think about it all below. Be sure to subscribe to the Meat Magazine YouTube channels. Visit meatmagazine.blogspot.com for more. Follow me on Twitter at Meat Magazine. Meat Magazine 7 on Google+. Meat Magazine blog on Instagram. Beyonce, a.k.a. Oshun. <laughs> Salute. Hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button, which is right next to, I mean, here I go. I, 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 let me take Beyonce off the screen because I can't even think straight. She's so damn fine. All right. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, but also make sure you hit the notification button. It looks like a bell is right next to the subscribe button. You'll be notified when new videos get posted. Meet Magazine on YouTube. Meet Magazine on Twitter. Meet Magazine 7 on Google+. Meet Magazine blog on Instagram. And Meet Magazine on top of my haters' mamas coming soon.